Buenas noches, buenas noches, mi gente. Here we are in the sanctuary, coming live water my podcast. Namaste, con la margarita and um, señor, professor, Byron D. Rock. What's going on, everybody? Um, it's a beautiful, beautiful day out here in Tampa Bay. If you're not from Tampa Bay and you're cold and it's wet and sleep somewhere in this country, um, you need to come down to Tampa Bay. We got Bush Gardens, we got beer, we got strip club. Don't tell Love nobody. <laughs> we got all that going on. It's down a lot there. of strip clubs. It is a lot of strip clubs. I, somebody told me this was a strip club capital of the world. I, I was thinking that. You, you think so? Uh, give, give you a shout out. You was looking at that. Say hey to everybody. Hey, hey. So you just run it down, run it down, run it down, run it down. So today we're going to talk about he's just not that into you. What? There's telltale signs that we do notice, but we try to make it better within our own. Mm-hmm. And it doesn't work. Well, I think it, it'll, it, it can work. Right now, if y'all see me looking for something... I have prepared my news Mr. on my Mr. phone. Ready. Yeah, I, I was ready for you guys, <laughs> and I left all my news notes. So I'm tripping right now because I had so much drama to give you. But I'm still going to come up with some news notes because it's all in my head, and it only takes me a second to, oh, first news note is coming to me. Um, First of all, I got to tell you. I love Bernice. What up, Bernice? I love her emojis. What, what's the, What's, what's the emotions? What's that? Was it was a smiling face? It's a heart. It's a heart? Heart, 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 heart eyes. Oh, you gotta get a new phone. That look like somebody's shooting a bird to me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm like, uh uh-uh, uh, Bernice. We ain't gonna start that today. What's up, everybody? <laughs> what's going on? Oh, how you doing today? I'm sick. She's sick. She got the cooties. Remember, she was telling me about cooties? I never was sick, okay? Been she, sick she's been days. sick. Okay, she got it at her job. She never goes to. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> I still, I drove by her job, <laughs> and I was Always looking at my job. I, I was just looking through some with some, with some binoculars, <laughs> trying to see if she came. I have never seen her go in or out the door. Okay, she's so lying. no, I'm not lying. Yes, I'm telling you the truth. Oh uh, <laughs> no! Oh uh, no! Um, shirts. 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 Your shirt is wonderful. It says, breed her. I, I breed, breed her. She. I breed mean, she. Yeah, yeah. Please forgive him. Um, but this is the I breed she that I'm wearing. He has the I breed. Well, you know, every time, you know, men men and breast always have bad things <laughs> going on. Okay? So we just get confused, okay? It's an I breed shirt, okay? Um, and then the way this goes... It, it's, it's real catchy. Now, now, my shirt is hot, okay? You see, with, with the head peeking out, got got the guns out, all that's <laughs> hot, okay? All I'm saying is hot, okay? Mucho caliente. Okay? That's my Spanish word for the day. Bow, bow, bow. No. <laughs> listen, listen. So the ivory shirt, the way it is, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's new coming out. Um, it, it, I'm at Henny. Um, he has Again, his company. It's my son-in-law. Yeah, it's his brand. Yeah, it's his brand. The brand is hot. We are loving it. Um, what is it? It's going around. The, the weather, weather is bipolar. bipolar. Oh, wow, Bernice. <laughs> Bernice, what do you do at home all day? Well, how many books do you read? Okay. Okay, I'm going to leave you alone. I'll get back to you, Bernice. Okay. Okay. What's up, everybody? What up, Robin? Um, Edie? People are sending all kind of requests. Now, I don't know how the Facebook goes. When people send so you requests. So, anyway, yes, the request is coming through, but he didn't finish. No, I was getting promotion. to that. Oh, no, no, okay. no, no. I'm going to do that. I got to do this because because Henny's paying us to do this. Okay? So, <laughs> so, <laughs> so, the ivory shirts is hot. I would tell you that. How do you get the ivory shirts? You would go to ivory.com or ivory on Facebook. Uh, or on Instagram, you can place your orders on either or. But he, there is an ibreed.com. Ibreed.com. We also have hats, wonderful hats. You check it out. And, oh, Do it on this bam, one. Yeah. Bam. Ibreed, the hats are fat. And it's hashtag Ibreed Success, Ibreed Knowledge, Ibreed Anointment, Ibreed Wisdom, Ibreed beauty it's whatever it is that you want to breed and i think it's phenomenal and i genius. say breed the spanish 
that uh, it's well, it, it started because Henny and Tiffany they breed the bullies. So the whole thing is, I breed bully, and so then the clothing line came about. They have backpacks. There's a, there's a new design coming out now as well, but the shirts come in white and red and black, either with the doggy peeking out or just with the eye breathe insignia here. This one is the she, so the she's in pink at the end here as I'm feeling up on my breast. Facebook world can see it. Yeah, there it is. And uh, <laughs> See no evil, hear no evil. So, um, Honey, I'm not looking. Visit Henny's page <laughs> at ibreed.com. I hope I'm saying that right. I was looking. I'm in the you. Facebook and in the Instagram. So shout out to our Janice. May your business prosper. Now, if you too have a shirt or something that you want us to do on Facebook or do on YouTube Live, we're out here and we're doing that. We can do that for you for a small nominal fee. Just send us the product. <laughs> <laughs> well, right now, we're just hooking everybody up because we got nothing but love for you. If you send the, us the product, we'll we're at gladly wear it. Inbox us for the proper sizes because I feel like this is really suffocating. And I like this because this is a 2X I'm putting on. And I feel. And you wanted a four X. I wanted a four X, and I feel like a god in it. Okay, so <laughs> <laughs> like a uh, great god. They're true okay. sizes. They are true sizes. So. Uh, and they, they said she said get better soon, Mama. Thank you, Bernice. Oh, uh, what up, Angel? Daniel, Shumper, Shumper, Oh. Danielle. Danielle, same thing. No. <laughs> same Sorry, thing. Danielle. Same thing. Okay, real quick, we're going to do some news. Did you hear about Cap on the Carnival Cruise Line? Carnival Cruise Line got caught with um, people show, um, videotaping um, folks while they're in the cabins. No. Yeah, they got caught. And then now they, what they did was come and move the film. They, they, have, they got caught with the, um, with the um, videotaping device in the cabin. They pulled it out, and now they're acting like, you know, we did a full investigation so there's no other issue with this. Um, but the, the but the couple, now they're deciding to sue. You know what I'm saying? Eileen, so the couple's suing. So it was only one couple. It was one couple who caught it. Oh. That don't mean there wasn't more people who actually it, 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 it actually happened. Um, I, I, if I go on a cruise and um, I came and found out somebody videotaping me, one, I don't, I don't, you know, I'm suing. I'm going to make sure they got my right angle, though. What? First, first we got to discuss that they got the right angle, because if they got me in, the, in in an angle that it's not... Becoming to you? <laughs> if somebody, listen, if somebody got a videotape in a room with you for the whole weekend, they're going to get you an angle that is not becoming. Well, then, then After you bend it down, put your socks on or some shit, it ain't going to look good all the time. They said, what? Yes, Bernice. Mm -hmm. But it, you know, Bernice. <laughs> okay, damn it, Bernice. We're gonna just bring you here if you can sit there. Okay, does she speak Spanish? Yes. Hola, Bernice. Okay. <laughs> okay. Carnival cruise ship on the cruise ship. These guys are setting up cameras on the cruise ship so they can take film of the people well, on the guys, cruise ship. The crew people. I'm sure it is. That's the only people that have access to the rooms. Okay. Okay. So they probably selling them things off. You know, somebody does the nasty, and they probably selling them off to to Pornhub or to Hamster Live or something like that. Um, I don't know why I know those sites. <laughs> Hello, Sonia. <laughs> Nisi. Hello. Now, the other one. Oh, here we go. Here it goes. I'm rolling again. Did you hear about all the bombs that went to all the different places? Yes. Oh, um, what did you think about that? Um, they, they caught the dude. He was from Florida. Yes. Uh, I think he was originally well, from I Philly, right? Mm -hmm, but it's like a toilet. Florida's like a toilet where you flush it. Oh, the shit comes to Florida to hide out. Yeah, in Florida is the spot. If some dirt jumping off, you come to Florida, huh? I never thought about that. Wow. Uh-uh. But, you know, so now it's just everybody's like hyper vigilant of everything that happens. Um, I would tell everybody, if you're going to church, if you're in the synagogues, if you're somewhere, um, anywhere you go to a place of worship, please be mindful of your exits when you get there. Be looking for places to get out when you get somewhere. Even if you go eat somewhere, the way the, um, the climate of the country and the climate of the world is very dangerous. So I would tell everyone to be mindful when you're going. Somebody Absolutely. said, hola. What up, Sonia? What up, Miss Rodriguez? 
Who's that? Who else? Teresa Boyd Borelli just signed up. What up, T? She said, nobody ever called me T before. I, I, think, <laughs> I think that's absolutely correct. But, but I mean, my Bridgeport people, we were always raised to look for when you hold enter on, a place. Hold on, hold on. Always look I, for the I, I other thought exit. We, I thought we talked about that. Put your back to oh, the wall. Everything be, be cannot everybody end up, up in a Bridgeport conversation. It always ends up with Bridgeport. Always. Mi gente, say something. My Bridgeport people say something. Oh, hey, man. Hey, that's oh. right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's she's right. A, she said, hey, hey, that's right. Okay. The next one. Okay. Moving right along. Will be... Oh, this is a lovely. You know, this is this tomorrow is Halloween, right? Oh, and people yeah. are dressing up. First of all, you, know, you celebrate Halloween great. If you don't celebrate Halloween great, I had that's um, right, niece at Bridgeport. Yes, yes. <laughs> is, she, is she white? No. Only people we white. Yes, that's what she said. Yes, she's not saying it like that. She, she didn't say Bridgeport. Um, yes. She said. I think Bernice said yes. Yes, okay. You don't yes. know how they're saying it. Hi, whatever. Okay. Listen, stop, stop interrupting me, okay. Bernice. <laughs> Women dressed as a zombie forced to go. She put some zombie teeth in. Bridgeport is what's up. Mm hmm. <laughs> you want to talk about my Bridgeport and, and we're all for Bridgeport. She, uh, uh, what's up? Puerto Rican what? Puerto Rican coño. Did he say she ain't white? She's Puerto Rican oh, coño. Oh, shit. <laughs> Sorry. Hola. <laughs> Avoid that diet. Okay, yeah, brother. Anyway. Okay. That's my West Side Story piece. You know? Anyway. So, you know, the lady put the teeth in her mouth, right? Uh -huh. When she put the teeth in her mouth, the, the fake teeth, right? For some reason, they got stuck in her mouth, and she couldn't get them out. They were permanently root. They just clamped in her mouth, and she had to go and get them surgically removed. This is happening today. Where did she get the teeth from? She went and bought it as a costume. Where Party City or something? I didn't say all that. It's an Alabama woman because she could have made them herself. She's in Alabama. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and she dressed and forced to seek emergency dental work. Wow, that was crazy. I, I would be like trying to sue somebody off of that. Look, Tonya said, Stop hating on Bridgeport. Oh, but wait, I would too. Like, like, what if a kid put that in their mouth? Oh, I would be ape shit. I would, be, I would be crazy. Lisa! I, I would be, what up, Lisa? Um, same sex couple. Um, carries the same baby. Did you hear about that? Okay, okay. this is some new stuff, y'all. Yeah. I'm going to tell you the word for it. I got the word right here. Boy, I'm still rolling. I don't have my notes, but now remember, I'm, I'm trying to remember stuff, so so, so bear with me. There's a, there's a term for this, and the term is... What do you okay. mean carry the same baby? Listen, listen, listen. Oh my God, if you just listen for a second, you'll find out. Okay? The method is called effortless reciprocal IVF. That's effortless reciprocal IVF, meaning that they can take the the, um, the egg and place in both of the women. They're gonna fertilize the egg. They're gonna put the egg in the one lady. Let her let her, let her do her body do what it do today. Take it out and then place it in the woman who's gonna carry it for the full term. That means both of them have uh, a piece in the process of carrying the egg. Oh. Um. Yeah. That must have been expensive. So they both wanted to feel like the they babies look, from each of them. Right, right, right. So and it's a same sex couple. So then they both got on and did that thing. Did the Henny just get on? Henny, Henny just we just shot out your shirts and you wasn't even on, okay? You were not you even on. You missed it. I blew up your shirt. To see all the way we ex <laughs> express the beauty of your shirt and how well it fits and forms. What up, Andrea? So what? The, what the shirt again? The shirts are hot. You should order them. What's the? What's the? What's what is it? What's the? I breed. I breed what? I I breed breast obviously because it's hugging my breast like I don't even know. In Facebook, look. Everybody sit so, down. So I breed success. <laughs> I breed beauty. I breed wealth. I breed health. 
I breathe. In your younger years, she's like, oh my God, I want to be a Hooters girl. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, if I could be a Hooters girl, my life would be so much better. <laughs> Why can't I be a Hooters Hashtag girl? Hashtag <laughs> I breathe. That's right. So it's hashtag I breathe everything else you want to do. So look for our Janice Torres. Hashtag I breathe on Facebook and inquire what you need to inquire. Sizes, colors, the new logo that's coming out, the backpacks, the hats. Let's it. Let's just get it on and pop Sneak, in. Sneakers and soon. always remember, support your local businesses, support the small businesses, and just watch out for those entrepreneurs starting because before you know it, they can be bigger than Nike. What? Same. So you're saying get up, get in when you fit in, jump get on in, it now. Get in now. Because you see it. You know what it's about, what we talked about in the past. Enough with the competing with one another, with not supporting one another because we don't want the other one to grow bigger than we are. It's about unity. It's about growing together. It's about sharing and the growth of one another, although the roads are going to lead you to different entities, to different Conglomerate companies. So just just the support amongst one another. I mean, the Latino is one of the largest economic markets out there. We're out there spending all this money to spend it on each other. Yeah. And I'm going to have a shirt called I Love Me. And I want everybody to buy one. Tomorrow okay? my brand will be displayed up here, me handy. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah. Get it out there. What's that? WD Beauty. What's that? Beauty Addiction. Uh, com. What's w that? W dot be beauty Addiction by JollyVet.com. Oh, she got something too? Yeah, well, you want to. Well, look, look, we ain't going to. Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> we ain't going to do none of that, Yalavet, unless you send it to us. Um, Free samples, okay? <laughs> but we ain't charging you yet, so at least we're gonna get some free samples out of it, okay? Now, if you don't have any um, makeup I can wear, I can use some lotion for my arms, okay? <laughs> I can use some hot oil, okay? And I can use some feet tenderizer. So, you heard it from Rockmore. You heard it, sister. All right, I went, go ahead. Okay, so the topic of the day if he's not doing the. You didn't say anything about my, um, my, um, my, um. My news. Your news was good. It was to the point. It was interesting. I play, I listened. I I interjected. Okay. I was like, wow, that really happened? Yeah. Yeah. You're only a small drive away. Okay, yes. Yeah, drop, drop something off. Okay. Okay. This has been going on. We've had a lot of discussions, right? And people have been calling us. And people have been asking us, to, you know, what if my man is not really into me, right? And we talked about this before when somebody's cheating, but this is a little different. And um, because we had a discussion with a few young men, and a man, a young man said, "Well, you know, sometimes I just deal with a woman because I don't know how to tell her no, or sometimes I deal with a woman because I don't, I just shit." Which really caught me off guard when he said that. When no, he said he would say no, but he knew people that get involved with these women because they couldn't say no because right. they felt bad or they stood. Because they didn't want to hurt the, the person. Not that because they wanted to cheat on them. It's... She said, get rid of his ass. Well, damn, that's a little angry yellow vet. Yeah, Jolly Bay has uh, grown in, within the last week. You oh, know? wow. Poderosa. Okay. All right, hold on. But this is not a he man's woman haters club. No, it isn't. It, it isn't. It, okay, slow it's down, about, sisters. It's about okay. um, not everybody's going to love you like you love them. Mm. That's a given. Not everybody is going to appreciate you as you appreciate them. Uh, so, men are aesthetics. Yeah, we like looking at Across you. the board, men are aesthetics. Men, uh, you, what are they called? Uh, the chubby well, chasers. They, yeah, they like chubbies. They like chubby women, but they will not go out to the movies with one. They, they won't be seeing what I'm... Them in private. But some of them, some of them, some of them, some of them like to go out. Some, some like to go we're out talking about them. the ones that don't. Right. Okay, follow so what happens is that because of that so sometimes you could be the most beautiful woman but they're just there's not that sexual connection there's not that pool to want to sit down and lay a blanket in the yard and have great conversations under the stars who wants to do that oh that's phenomenal you who wants to do it. that men want to do I that i tried it I, I did it but i mean i wanted to do it i didn't know so anyway what happens is that a lot of men just date that <laughs> That 
physical Shut up, Andrea. attraction isn't there, but sometimes they think you're hot. They think your ass is banging, your breasts are exactly what they want. Mm. You know, your hair's beautiful, they love the way your face is, whatever the case may be. But sexually, it's like they can't take that next step because sexually you're not doing it for them. Right. So then women will see that and then they try harder right. or they question themselves. So no, the reason that happens is so because... So right there, stop it, right, right there. So this is, this is, rewind this real quick. So the guy thinks everything about the girl is, is hot. Yeah, that's what Brandon was saying yesterday, yeah. remember? Right, but... But the sexual attraction is not there and there's nothing you can do about it. It's like a, it's like a, it's like an energy pool. That energy is not going to make that shift happen. No matter what you do. Shift. So S H I F T. So what happens is we, we overdo it and then we, we get our feelings hurt and then we want to attack them. But the signs are there. My, my gente, my women, the signs are there, but we don't want to realize it because off rip we think something's wrong with us, but it's not because it's not about us. It's just not there. And sometimes it's harder for us to accept the truth. And we start making up all these things and trying extra harder. And we just keep wounding ourselves. So let's listen to the tips that he has. I went through them, but I was really sick this afternoon. I practically slept the whole afternoon. Oh, thank you for all that TMI. Anyway, <laughs> if he's not doing these things, he's not. Really, first of all, I'm going to say this. You wasn't really appreciative when I had a little cough. So I would appreciate it. You, you don't. Coughed, no, I, I did not cough on you. Way. I did not cough on you. What Shout the hell Bernice just wrote? Okay, <laughs> while, while she's going to read Bernice's dissertation, okay, while I'm going to go over here, God damn, Bernice, <laughs> she must have a whole keyboard and shit, oh shit, uh, this is right up my alley, God damn, Bernice, she wrote, thanks for participating, Bernice, Cause read that shit what she wrote, you gotta read it, shout out to my hubby Rick is out. Is out. Please in. It's our 17th oh, anniversary oh. today. Happy anniversary. <laughs> Happy anniversary. We've been together for 23 years. What? And he's, we're still in love with each other from the first attraction. And that's beautiful. Hold on to it because that doesn't happen yeah. much in a lifetime. Yeah. I thought she said he's out. No. You're like so like he was out of prison or something with tattoos on his face. I love you. Anyway, okay. <laughs> if he's not doing these 10 things, <laughs> He's not really into you. Number one, texting you frequently. Seriously, when a guy oh, is I seriously do. into you, he won't wait a day or two to text. I believe he, that. Hell, you might have a problem trying to get him to stop texting. During work hours, if he's not texting, he's not into you. And that's sad because their first excuse would be, I'm busy. I'm busy. I'm or, so busy. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, you know, I don't want to, like, be, like, rushing you or putting all that pressure on you. So, you know, I just want to text you all the time. You know, if he ain't texting you all the time. Just, you know. just think back to when you first started. How was the texting? Was it a, a conversation? Or was it, I have a friend that, and then he's like, well, we established I suck at texting. And I was, and he's just a friend. And, I, and I'm like, I still don't jive with that. If I'm, if I'm texting you. My nigga. Got what back. I need. <laughs> Here you go. And you say he's just a friend. That's uh, it. And you say he's just a friend. Oh, baby, you. That's oh, it. Uh, well, you're not on the rest of that. Anyway, okay. <laughs> he's just a friend. Okay. Okay. So, Number two. So if, if you have that happening. He's not texting. Then something going on. Number two. Actually making time for you. It doesn't matter if he's a Fortune 500 executive or works a day job and a part-time overnight gig. He'll carve out a chunk of his schedule for you if he likes you. If you keep getting told that he's busy, he's blowing you off, girls. Look it. So I'm in Stop and Shop watching and people think I'm crazy. <laughs> <laughs> well, Hello, Kimba, Erica. What up, Erica? Why is it always thank you, Margie? I'm having issues here. I'm working hard here. It is always thank you, Margie. What about me? What about my love? Okay, here we go. <laughs> okay. So, if you find out that this guy is not texting you, number one, ah, I lost my page. I'm going to be right back to it. And he's not making time for you. Let me tell you something. If a guy really wants to be with you, he, like, he said, like we said earlier, he'll carve out the time to get with you. There is nothing that 
a guy won't do if he really wants to be with you. Dudes don't have no boundaries. Dudes will go all out if they think if there's something they want. Oh, yeah, they in it to win it, okay? Yes. So when you see him being apprehensive and he's kind of hemming and hawing, that means he's trying to either figure something out or you might be so much for him he don't know if he can handle you. That could be something, too. And I, I'm so happy you brought that up because I was going to bring that in at the end. I'm because sure you was. there's two sides to everything. And sometimes, I'm just going to do real quick and then we'll continue. No, go ahead. Sometimes, <clears throat> he's afraid. He's afraid because he is feeling new in that way and he might fear commitment he might fear that you're not going to reciprocate what he's doing because he was he could have been hurt in the past now all men are not dogs all men are not stupid the majority are but all men are not stupid so sometimes it, it couldn't be that that they're feeling that not all the time, but well, sometimes men, 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 men are dogish for the yeah, most that's part. What I'm saying not all the time, but, but sometimes time, it could be right. that if you are a strong woman, you might be throwing them off. Yes, we can throw them off because we already like laid down the, the law of whatever it is that we want. So they're probably like afraid. I don't want this. I don't want this. I ain't looking I for a this. relationship yeah. right now. And then we end up starting to have some feelings for this nigga. And then he ain't texting us like we want. We're like, whatever. Delete him. Just delete him so we won't text abuse him. So, <laughs> so if you see actually making time, he's not making time for you, there could be numerous reasons with that. But one of the reasons might be that he's not feeling you, okay? Or he could be yeah, scared. Yeah, because that's the topic. Okay. But, but, but for the most part, we're working on yeah. he's not that into you. Okay. Okay, number three, thinking about commitment, okay? Commitment won't be scary for guys who are actually serious about, seriously infatuated with a girl. Don't accept excuses when the most commitment phobic guys want to have the woman they love as a girlfriend, okay? Let me tell you something. The guys are not too much scared of commitment, okay? When they say, man, I want to do this and I want to do that, I want to do that, they blowing your smoke up your ass, okay? Seriously, okay? They, they, you know, dudes, you know, if you was, are what they want and they focus on that, they come in and get it, okay? So when you guys see guys all p passive and, and, they, and, they, and they're bouncing and they're really not there for you, that's because they're not trying to be. I'm telling you, okay? So, you know, when the guys, and the guys said, man, why are you putting this out there like that? Well, I, I, you know, I'm trying to, this is the day, we helping the ladies out. Tomorrow, we'll be helping the fellas out. But for today, it's for the dadies. You ever said the dadies, the ladies, okay? Um, number four, wanting to be seen with you in public. Now, you just talk about the fatty stuff, right? Now, no fatty, don't call us fatties. No, you just said, the girl, what you said? You said the fatty Wait, stuff. No, I didn't say fatty. That's such a like terrible What's word. What's that? I can say I'm fat, but you can't say the fatty stuff. Oh shoot. The what are they called? The oh, you said fatties. No, you said it. I we were didn't. Rewind you said well, it was it was a girl who was a big girl who was a fat girl no. that they wanted to seen. What did you say? The obese. When they like um. Chubby chasers. Yes. Oh, okay. Hold fatty on. Hold on. Chubby hold on. Hold on. Hold on. If I'm words. a girl, right? Two different I'm, I'm not a girl, right? But I would rather you call me. Um, fat. But see, I wasn't, then a calling, chaser. I wasn't calling the females fat. I, I was referring to the men preference. Who, who their preference. They're chubby chasers, but that's just that's what it's called for the men part. I'm not saying we're fat. A I didn't say the woman was fat. Who has no stomach and big thighs and a big ass and big breasts, but to other men they're considered. It takes you a while to be really seen in public with a guy. Well, you know that's what, you know. Get, get a cuter guy, Lisa. So, okay. <laughs> so, go ahead. So, if they want, don't want to be seen in public with them, why? Why do you think? Because... Okay, let me read it. They Once again, lie. this is a sign that he wants he wants to get serious with you, okay? If he's trying to show you off in public. If he's blatantly trying to hide you from his friends and family, it's a sign that you're not his long-term plan, Okay. It's also a sign that you might be the side chick, also. So yeah, so you know he's trying to hide you all the time. There might be an issue right there, you know, because there might be some other stuff going on. One, you know, especially you know, and don't get caught into say, well, he don't think I'm pretty enough or this is not. It's not I'm about you. you. They got nothing to do not with you. Okay? About the woman. It's not about you. It's not about you. Because if he's in your face trying to talk to you, trying to get some drawers and all that nonsense, that means there's there's a like. Think liking somewhere in there. 
Now, when we're doing this right there, we're talking about many different facets. Because remember, when we started this conversation, we was talking about clearly about a guy who was with a woman. Thank you, Sonia. What did Sonia say? She said she'd rather be caught chubby. Now, Sonia is like a beautiful Greek goddess. But yeah, she would say that. So, Sonia, <laughs> if you are slim and you're a beautiful Greek goddess, then don't even put nothing on the screen, okay? <laughs> Shut up! Okay. Leave me alone. Thank you, mama. <laughs> it's always the skinny people talk about, I'll, 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 I'll have a salad. You know? <laughs> oh, that, that blows you up? I could just eat anything and be okay. Oh, shut up. Okay. What's the next uh, okay. one? Okay. Uh-uh. Hola, Tiffany. Wanting to, okay, to be seen in public. Back to be seen in public. I'm telling you, that's a big issue. If the guy, take him out somewhere. Make sure that he, um, seen being seen with you in public. Do not give him no drawers, okay? If he can't be seen with you in public, because that's gonna work on your self esteem so bad that every time this dude comes, he's trying to get on top of you, catch a minute sweat, and then get up, and then he's out the door, okay? Even uh, the strongest women, the one with the most, the high self esteem, when it's somebody, see, you can be strong in business when you're out there, when you're defending your kids. Anywhere you are, like Wonder Woman, but when it comes to love, it's like it's like our kryptonite, especially when we want to love somebody, and when they do not reciprocate what we're doing towards them, it does hinder our self esteem and it does make us question ourselves. So, don't do that when you're observing how a guy's energy is shifting with you, which leads to this. Be fully aware in your moment. Own what you're feeling, what you're seeing, what you're experiencing. Go ahead. Well, somebody said uh, they're, they're a, um, a chubby chick or oh, a chunky chick, and they love me. I don't, okay? She said, I don't care what they say. I love me. Let me tell you something. Men do not care about your size. Seriously. It's yeah. other women we dress up for. Yeah, Keep I'm that in mind. You, when we go to the clubs, care. we're not dressing for the guys. Men, especially if a woman, whatever she got, just work it the best way you got it. That's all you got to do. Men don't care. If you remember in the Bible, in the Bible, they talked about Bash, was Bathsheba with, with, with Samson, okay? Um, Delilah. Delilah and Samson, right? Delilah. Yeah. Samson. Delilah, Samson and Delilah. Now, in the Bible, they never said Delilah was pretty. They said she was beguiling. Okay? Beguiling is the ability to draw. If a person has the ability to draw a person, that's what women need to work on, their ability to draw men and draw people. Okay? Um, that's the key to, to that, drawing people. Not, you know, looking good is good. What he's saying is women, yeah. which you're going to see tomorrow, is be magically orgasmic. <laughs> be magic. Be, like... Everything you can be, and then dismiss those who don't appreciate you. Oh, I like all that. All of your sparkle. I like that. Because you know what? It's like, it's like when you're looking up at the constellations and you see that shooting star. You are that shooting star. Don't let anyone try to dim you because they don't know how to appreciate everything you have to offer. Let them go. Next, there's always somebody waiting around the corner that's gonna love you. Beginning with your flaws. Begin, because I want somebody who's going to see me for all the ugliness I have. Because for every compliment they give me, I'm like, watch out now. There's always, I'm yin-yang, so for everything you compliment me on, there's something you're going to turn your nose up at. So. Okay. So if he's not doing these ten things, we are all he's beautiful. really not into you. Oh, that's so sweet. You know what? I, 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 I'm so I'm so happy for you. This, 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 this little family we got going on. I'm going to do number five. I'm going to talk about this family thing. Showing off to your friends and family. Once again, this is a sign that he wants to get serious. If the man does not show you off, there's an issue, okay? Um, if he's blatantly not trying, uh, blatantly trying to hide you from his friends and family, it is a sign that you're not his long-term plan. Also, it's a sign that you might be a side chick. Let me move on to the next one. <laughs> what happened? A side chick. A side chick. I just wanted to read that. Plato de segunda so, okay. mesa. Number six. Going the extra mile to prove his worth. Is he whining and dining you at fancy restaurants? Is he texting you goodnight or giving you presents just because? 
that's a sign that he really does want to be with you. After all, why would he do all that work if he wasn't trying to lock it down? Wining and dining could be in different stages or something like that. Because some women say, well, I don't want to be wine and dining. Um, you want a person to be putting their best effort in, okay? Don't sell yourself short, okay? Remember, you're like a stock, okay? If you see nobody's putting money on a the stock, then they don't think there's a value to the stock, okay? Let them do stuff for you. Let that man take care of you and do some stuff, okay? They don't, it, don't have to be, it doesn't have to be monetary. It has to be effort. Base, yep. Okay. Um, and, and then so uh, make sure that he's putting some effort in. He's got if somebody wants to sit there, spend your time, hug, kiss, enjoy your energy, there should be some payment from there. Seriously, I'm telling you, ladies, it should be some payment from there. Don't do all that on the house. Okay. Let him do some work. Somebody said, Well, that's like you prostituting yourself. No, stupid. It's not. <laughs> you're not prostituting yourself. Some just want the punani. Yeah. Yes. Right, right. Yes, they do. But then it's up. That's where our power of pussy comes in. That's where the strength, the control. We are the universe when it comes to all of that, mi gente. We are the universe. We make it hail. We make it snow. We make it rain. We make the sun come out when it comes to our home, to our life, to our person. So. It's us. We set the precedent. They're going to do what we allow them to do, right? So sit down. Let them think they have an upper hand. When we start noticing that things are shifting, and observe. And then put a smile on your face and dismiss them. I like Sonya gave me thumbs up. She knows what she's talking dismiss about. Dismiss him. Smart woman. Because it's all up to you. You are the gatekeeper of your life. Right. So you know what? Lock that. Put a chastity belt on if you have to until you see if he's worthy of your time. So you say, what's a chastity because belt? Because they, they don't waste their time. A chastity time. belt used to be back in the day. So they used to put it on the woman to make sure she wasn't doing no dirt. And they used to have a key to that sucker. And you could turn it on and you could turn it up and you could lock the coochie <laughs> down. Okay? Well, I bet you once you the open it up. The listen, I bet that chastity belt and it had been locked up for a few months and nobody opened that sucker up. And they, if they put a key in that motherfucker and open it up, I bet you no man alive will want that coochie. I bet you that it'll be a gold mine. I bet you it'll be funky as all uh, dogs. Okay? Look at you. Look at you. <laughs> it'll be a gold mine. You know Ain't what? nobody going to want no stink. No, Whether no. you want to have sex with everybody you come encounter with, that's your business. I'm not here to judge you. You got to test it out before you commit, right? If you want to hold out until you figure out you get to know each other better, it's still your choice. But remember, if he's not into you, he's not going to be into you from the from jump. He's forcing himself. So just pay attention. Yeah, make That's sure the guy... Pay dude, attention. Because sometimes they don't know. Right. Or, so you're, gonna or do it. you're such a sweetheart, the guy does not want to yeah, say he's something. he's going to say, bendito, let I'm, me give her some. Let me tell you something. I've dated... Okay, before I got married, I dated young women that I did not want to hang with. Okay, But that was so nice. I didn't know what to say to them. They were sweethearts. They cooked. They were sweet. They was nice. Um, I, you know, so they, they, and you know, so I had to, I had to like fade, and, you know, fake a death or two. It was, it was a few things that, but you know, fake a death or two. Fake a death. Family, family emergency. Fake a death. <laughs> fake a death. Okay. <laughs> okay. Number seven. Apologizing when he messes up and never do it again. Drew Bernice. Listen, a lot of guys who screw up royally will apologize only to do even worse things later on. If a guy actually works hard to improve things between you, he might actually be serious, you know, into you. This does not, this doesn't mean you should give him a second chance though, just saying. So when you see people quick to apologize, sometimes that's a trap, to be honest with you, okay? So some dudes are so used to apologizing and saying stuff. I was talking to this other day, this guy the other day, and we were talking about some business. And I was looking at this dude in the face. Nisi is cracking up for you. What? She what? said, smelly, she can't get over that chuckle, now fake a death. Fake a death. It's like yeah, you're yeah. tickling her right now. Right, so, so, you know, so, so what up, girl? So, so <laughs> I, I, I was talking to the dude, and I was trying to talk to him about, like, like business. And while I'm looking at this dude, this dude's like moving all shifty and shit. And I'm like, bro, I said, as a man, you do a, and he has all these women because he's very handsome dude. And I see all these women coming by. And I say, you know what? I feel, I did, and I had this conversation with him yesterday. I feel sorry for all those women talking to you. Like, then you, you are like a, 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 a roach. 
You know what I'm saying? You are you are a big water bug that flies in the air that you see that messes up the whole goddamn milk <laughs> in the room. And you are just a piece of crud. And all these women like you. And I feel so bad for all these women making these bad choices about the character of the dude. Just because a man's willing to apologize real quick, he might be so used to that and programmed to do that. You got to watch that, girls. Just because somebody says, I'm so, so, so sorry. You know what? A real man does things that he don't have to say sorry for. Okay? He makes sure he stays out of the way. And if so, he does say sorry, it's because he's unaware and you say, hey, what's going on? This is what you're doing. Explain it. Mm -hmm. Call him out on his shit. And if he's like, well, I, I wasn't even aware of that. but Because it can happen too. Right. Nisi, I'm so happy. I hope you're warm in your car listening. She doesn't even want to get out of her car. She's, she's in her car? Yes. Yeah, she, and Tiffany, oh, yes. She's up, she up north in the car? Yeah. yeah. Be safe. Yeah, be it's safe, cold. Shorty. All right. It's yeah, affection plays a big role um, when you're with someone, to have that affection. But I, the attention as well. Because right. anybody can hug up on you. Anybody can massage you. But it's the attention. Are you looking at me when you speak to me? Are, are you, re even if you reply to a text saying, hey, beautiful, I'm in a meeting right now. As soon as I'm out, I'll give you a call. Or I'll let you know when I'm out. Just a simple response that they got your text or that, hey, I know I know I'm, I was supposed to call you, but I was called into a last minute meeting or I have a client or I have to take an extra shift, whatever the hell he does. If it has to do with something like that, then that's okay, too. It's I mean, they're not supposed to be just on you, on you, but they should be. I don't care how much of a stinker texter you are. Mm -hmm. I don't care how... You were a miserable texture with everybody else in your life. Not with me. I am not the motherfucking one. If I'm texting you, text me back. If you tell me you're going to call me, call me. I don't care what time it is, but call me. Marjorie, are you dating now? No. <laughs> <laughs> don't listen to that shit to your soul. I'm not dating. You. Okay. What All I'm right. saying is because I, I, I told you I ran That's up why you're just scaring the man, okay? <laughs> Stop scaring him. Don't listen to Margie. Bad advice. Bad advice. Bad advice. Bad advice. Okay? If you call me, look at like she a gay set. <laughs> look at bitch. If you don't call me at six, I'ma whip your ass. No, Margie, no. Oh, it's hi oh, hi Kalindo. Oh my God. What is going on? Why are you doing this to me, Margie? Why are you doing this to me? Okay? Oh my God. You know what? Me and for those who know me, no. Shit. I am passionate. Look at Vicky. Call me. Get some of the you don't call me. I'm gonna whoop your ass, okay? Okay, that's what you're saying. Uh, get somebody. What I'm saying is a man has two things in this world. Women. They have their word and their boss. And the boss ain't worth shit because they're so sensitive. So if they Look, say the Yeah. Yeah, that's true, cause the baby kicked me and the boss I'm holding the baby, it, it fucks me. So up. if they tell you <laughs> Hold them to their word. If they say they're going to call you and they don't, and then they text you the next mid-morning talk about, oh, I fell asleep. My oh, bad. That's his ass. Then you know what? That's your ass. Excuse it the first time. That's your ass. And, but if it, if it happens a second and third time, that's then what ass. you got to realize ass. is if, if you value that person enough to be your friend, then keep them as a friend. But don't take it anywhere else with that because he's already lost respect for you. Let me go to this one. Number eight, staying, staying to hang out, cuddle after sex. Of course. Does he insist on pillow talk? Is he okay with meeting up just so that you two can watch a band play at a local bar? Kind of like you said, laying out in the park and stuff, okay? These are pretty good indicators that he views you as more than just a sexual object. Now... Sometimes you just want to be viewed as a sexual object, and that's kind of you got to figure out where you're at with that, okay? Who are you? you know, or who are you at the time? Because sometimes you you want that's all you want. You want to do the do and get the hell out. You don't even want to sit there and talk to somebody, okay? Because you know, just because the person is cute or or sexually, um, you know, pleasing, that don't mean that they're, they're a good conversation piece. So remember, do you, what do you want that person for? So yeah. get, so so you know, always when you get into relationships, you ask yourself, now what do I want to get out of this relationship? You know what I'm saying? Because if you're with somebody and you're cheating, then you shouldn't be thinking that that's going to be a relationship that you're supposed to have anyway. If you're getting in a relationship and you're dating, and this is number five, the fifth person that you've been dating this week, then you need to be kind. 
cognizant. What's that? She said, what if she doesn't like to cuddle or have pillow talk? And then that's a thinking face. That's a Nisi. Nasty. Because you're nasty, okay? Normal people like to pillow talk. You're nasty, Nisi, okay? This is not, do you, a doctor feel good? You need to call Dr. Bob. You need to call a sexual therapist. And you're nasty, okay? But this is for the other people who are not nasty, who wants to work on relationship. So please, get off our line. Damn it. Or we're going to charge you, okay? Now, so back to before we was reading, really into our about cuddling. And the guy gets up and he's doing a nasty with you and he pops his ass up and runs out the door. That's a sign. Okay? That's the time. Oh, you got to fight him to sit there and talk with you? Let me tell you, when a dude involved in with you and he likes it, man, he, he wants to stay there and be up under you 24-7. Now, he popping up and going, then there's this, this probably an issue there. He got something else going on. But also, uh, we're going to go back to what how the female laid it out. What if the female, like, a, again, what if he wants to stay and have a conversation and she's like, he can are go? you going to take a shower or you're, or you're just going to leave? Whatever the case, maybe he's feeling like she don't want to. Because a woman, too, remember, we are the gatekeepers, right? We set the tone. And shame on you if you continue to allow someone to do all yeah. these things to you. Right, right. When you have other options. Okay, you know, you, you, you're you not limited. I, you know, especially with the day and age. You're when, magically. Listen, listen, but with the day, somebody said a booty call, Andrea. You know, she, you know, you know, I this poor Margie. It, she, she's booty a, She just yeah, she just jumps to another oh. topic. Okay, oh. she used to talk about that. Was, she's explaining that was a booty call that you was talking about. Oh, I, I'm oh saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but booty even booty calls like you. That's why they keep you on speed dial. She's Lisa said she don't cuddle either. See, you know what? Y'all are just like barbarian. <laughs> Oh, you barbarian! Oh, you barbarian! That's the G. Well, is, like, that a, is that the GFF F crew? The GILF crew. The G- uh, <laughs> two out of three are GILFs. There's Nisi, Vicky, and Lisa. Don't talk their names out there. How you know they want to be called GILFs? Well, is that like a gang? No, because they're beautiful <laughs> like that. Two of them are grandmas, so they are. They can be a GILF. How's that? Oh, they can be. Okay, let's not call them. Cuddle for a little bit. You know what? Y'all like, y'all love them and leave them, okay? But listen, if y'all... If, Nancy says she cuddle for a little bit. Just a little bit, right? Just I'm not affectionate like, like that. What is wrong then, with you I, ladies? <laughs> you just like throw away toys and stuff. Yeah, y'all in the microwave area, era, you put it in, beep, <laughs> take it out, throw it away, okay? That's cute, okay? However, men do like to cuddle, okay? And they do like to pillow talk. They Probably, do. Some of us like to do it more than others, okay? Yes. And, and so, that's annoying because a lot of women don't want to just, we don't want a no no, we don't want like a cheek lip. We don't want, you know, when you chew a gum and then all the flavor goes, mm-hmm. and then, then you just like stick it in your hair for later. And that sometimes, in your hair. sometimes a man is like that. Like you just want them to like man the fuck up and just be like, okay, let's cuddle, let's take a shower. Okay, what you gonna be like? Mwah, bye. So then that's okay. The man can do that. Yeah. Somebody's gonna bitch your ass. Ooh. Bitch houses? Okay, wow. What is hey, wrong That's right, Vicky. That's what I said. You're a gill. What? Uh, listen, listen, listen. I, so are you saying when a man gets some, he, should, he needs to get up and walk off? No. There could be some cuddling, but then it's not like a, oh, where are you going? So, oh, I just, let me stay, or why don't you stay, depending now, hold on. You know what's something? It's so, confusing. Wait, wait, wait. I got to say this. Today, Margie's sick, right? Snot on her hands, <laughs> no, dripping fucking green boogers out her no, nose. I'm not. And she's touching me more today than we've touched in 16 <laughs> freaking episodes. Keep your goddamn hands to yourself with your nasty, sick, snotty ass, okay? Keep touching me with your nasty ass hands, okay? And well, give me your boogers, okay? I don't want them. I got a nice shirt on, ivory. <laughs> Oh my I, I goodness! I breathe fame. I breathe wisdom. I breathe. That's success. right. We can have coffee. Okay. And let me tell you something. I had a friend who I would go over there, and he would get up. We would in the morning when I'm getting ready to run out the house, and he would make me coffee. Ooh. And Nisi, that is the most beautiful thing that Ooh. they take that time to make you coffee. It's like a kiss on the collarbone. That's beautiful. Okay, that's that's beautiful. It was beautiful. Number nine, pulling his own weight. If you are constantly having to make excuses as to why your guy is living off your dime, 
Hmm, then you're a needy person. You're, you're, needy. That's you're, it. you're not living in the real world. Real men want to provide for their partners or at least pay their share. If a guy won't pay a dime for his own stuff, chances are he's into your money and not you. So if you, every time you're going to eat, he act like he got to have a wallet, he don't have no money, he can't do stuff. Let me tell it you. It can't be that good. He does not have, he's not a mandingo. Right. It cannot be hanging down to his knees that you're going to be supporting a grown ass man. Or better yet, that you're allowing him to abuse you. Because that's abuse. So I won't even go there. <laughs> So, yeah, if you find out every time this dude, men like to pay for things. They really do. Or uh, if no, you're no. that type of woman, then you know what? One week he pays, one week you pay. Or go Dutch. Either way. If you say, well, I don't want him for any. Remember, here we go back again saying, what do you want first? If you want a person for a booty call, then you really don't need to do all that extra stuff. Go out and eat and all that no. stuff with him. Booty you call is something that, totally different. Right, so this, is, we this is not the booty call session. This is this is having a relationship with a person and seeing it, it knowing or trying finding cues to see if this guy is worthy of the relationship or should you even be involving yourself in this relationship. Now number ten. Wasting time because again, mi gente, the biggest mistake we make in our lifetime is believing we have time. We don't have time. How many how much time we got? Now in we have ten minutes on the No show. no, how much time you always talk about ten minutes? What, 86,400 seconds deposited in our lives every morning, don't waste it. Spend it wisely. Because you know what? We can't go back and fix anything we've done. We can only be present in our now and plan for tomorrow, but not be in expectation of tomorrow either. But just if you know what you want, if you value your worth and wear it like a coat of honor, no one's going to take advantage of you. And you're not going out there wasting your time with people who are not worthy of your time. Right. And then when you do something, be cognizant that you're doing it. I, 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 have, I coined this, this term called blind progression. That people can go through life. Like and that. It's blind progression. You know, um, when, I was, when, that. when I was doing my dissertation. One of the words that the reason why I did talk about the word blind progression is what that is it? It, it means like you're just going through life not understanding it. I went through 16 years old to 25 in the blind progression. And no matter what information was given to me, no matter what people told me, you didn't believe say, it. I didn't believe any shit. Mm -hmm. I was on my own path. I was like a horse with blinders on, and I was uh, with I was a horse with blinders on with my eyes closed. That's stupidity. Yes. Okay. And I ran like that for years. Okay. And that's a blind progressive state. Okay. And 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 what we find kids are like that. Stupid old men are like that who's stuck in their ways. And women in okay? love. Women and women, women in love. In love. Right? Women and I was getting, thank you. Women in love are dangerously in blind progressive state. And Usually, soft dudes who kind of really, oh my god, I love you, I love you, I love you. They kind of get in a blind progressive state too, okay? And I shouldn't have said soft dudes because you know when you love somebody, you 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 butter for everybody. The hardest dude could be butter for the for, for anybody. Let's go to number ten, and then I'm a, you know then we're gonna get about to close it out. Um, number ten, exhibiting the classic signs of having a crush. He might stammer, he might blush, he might preen, okay? I mean, he really like ooh. Okay. You might catch him giving you a fawning glance or remembering little details you forgot. If he does these things, chances are he's definitely a little into you. Not a whole lot, but a little. Because you know why he's taking time to look at the particular things about you, okay? About the way your hair is, the way how you smell, um, the way you the way you laugh. And and you know, and if a guy's not willing to get you to laugh, you know, be careful for a dude who have no sense of humor. Because if you ain't got oh, no sense of humor, yeah, 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 don't no do it. You know, funny dudes, you know, I'm going to give a little game out. You know, but it's the game should be um, sold, not told. So I'm just going to give a little game out for everybody, for the fellas listening. The number one thing, and if any woman could, they, you could agree or not agree, because I know how y'all do on TV or live. Y'all get, get, get silly sometimes. If you want to make the girl like you, your first job is to make her comfortable. Make her comfortable, okay? Work hard at making her comfortable, okay? And now how do you do that? Try to figure it out. But work hard at making her comfortable, okay? Do that and you'll see. What do you mean? Comfortable. Comfortable how? Like, like comfortable like how you like 
uh, so comfortable to put boogers on me and shit. Okay? <laughs> That's that comfortable. I did okay? not. Okay. I uh, okay. My nose is Com- not running. okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. So 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 de- being comfortable. Okay. Um. And y'all know where it, each woman got their own thing of comfort. So if the guy's with you, he should be trying so to figure comfort, out com- comfortable. Like like when you're with this person, you feel like you're gliding across the room, not walking. That comfortable, not in the clouds, not yeah. in La La Land. Yeah, she went PCP on me. But when you're <laughs> gliding, okay. Let me tell you something. Spikely movie. Let me tell you something. <laughs> I will not waste my time on any man who does not make me laugh, since laughter is my favorite song. You have to make me laugh, okay? So I don't care. If they got a sense of you know what? Communication is always key. Always, always. Without communication, there is nothing. But I think that the glance, right. if they do remember certain things that you've discussed in June, and here we are in October, and you get a box of candies in the mail, right, that you discussed back in June, and he somehow saved your address from, from June, and then sends you something that's beautiful. Now, but then... But then he texts that he's going to call you later, and he doesn't. So it's been like two two times. He says he's gonna call, and he what doesn't. Is that? Who is this dude who has not texted you? No, I'm not. There's, there's a guy out there. No. Where is Papa? So what Carla? Oh my God, call her! <laughs> what the fuck? Who is this guy? No, it's it's a, it's. Uh, what I'm there's this dude out there who no. ain't called her ass. Okay. And I know I'm a strong. Mujer completa. I know this. I know I come off a little, a, a little demanding because I know what I want. So I, I lay it out. The king. I lay it out. This is what I want. This is what I don't want. Right. So, if you're insecure, mm-hmm. then I'm gonna scare you. But if you're a man's man, you're gonna take it as a challenge, and we're gonna make it work. So. No, I'm, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got beef with that. I hate when women do that. When women talk about if you uh, if you a man's man, first of all, I'm gonna say this for every woman out there: stop trying to tell a man that how he a man. Okay, <laughs> you, you can't tell us how we a man. Somebody just said, "Boy, please text Margie back." <laughs> no, that's not me. <laughs> thank you, thank it's you. It's not yeah. personal, to Daria. Text her back, somebody. Let's Whoever think. this dude is. Please, oh my God, I plead to you. My tribe knows. Whoever's well, in my tribe, well, they you know. In, in Bridgeport. If you were in Brooklyn, if you were in Tampa, if you were in Spain. Right, you're feeling types of way. Shut up. <laughs> if you're going to do something, do it, right? I'm Vicky, yes. So texting back is important. But even still, I don't want to hear anything. And I, I just, you know what? You're taking my time. So anyway, mi gente, I had an amazing podcast tonight. Being sick and all. Byron, that was a great subject. Those were great 10 highlights. Because as simple as they might sound, mi gente, I know they've touched chords within several of you. And, and as you see, it brought a passion out in me. So <laughs> She said, I'll text you later, Margie, I promise. <laughs> I text both you and Vicky. Uh, so. <laughs> but listen, listen. That was great. <laughs> Tomorrow. No, we're going to do Thursday, right? Thursday, you said. Thursday, 7.30. Between 7.30 and 8, because you know how we go, okay? It's between 7.30 and 8. It's because when he comes, talk about how we go. He's a busy man, I'll give you that. Well, I thought we was going to do that in public. <laughs> you just said we was going to do that in public. And as soon as you get a chance to blow me out of water, so we were going to do nothing like that. I don't remember that conversation. Well, well now we're going to have a conversation. <laughs> we'll never do that again, okay? Okay. Oh, my God. On Thursday, 7.30. Thursday, 7.30. We'll try this again. Um, we enjoyed you all. You oh my all God. were actually really, wonderful. Thank Bernice you. Bernice with her dissertation. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, you know, you know, Andrea talking about booty calls. No, nothing about no damn booty call. Okay. Uh, yeah, so, so, so um, Henny with his shirts, his beautiful I breed shirt. I breed sheep. Okay. Okay. Yeah. There it is. I, I breed uh, success. On. I breed everything. Okay. There it is. Yeah. So, <laughs> I'm just saying, I love it. The, the this is a regular large, probably that's why it's hugging my tits. But they're great quality. 
And you know what? I breed she. What are you breeding? Hashtag I breed spontaneity. What? Hashtag I breed cafe con leche. Whatever it is. Nice boobs. Thanks, honey. You always give me that compliment. There it is, Facebook. <laughs> anyway, tomorrow, we will, uh, Thursday, we will be discussing the women's part about what she's not into because we're just, if not extra, shy, mean, or we just don't, just don't do it for us either. It's not a one-sided game. So, I don't know what he's playing, but mi gente, thank you. I had a great evening with you. My tribe, thank you for always being present. Love you guys. Happy anniversary, Benice. Namaste. Remember to love yourself. I like Accept to... yourself. Okay. Respect yourself. <laughs> and I hope you are waking up every morning kissing and reminding yourself. De la completa que eres. I love you, Vicky. What she said. Shout out to all my boys, all my sons. I love all of y'all. Shout out to wifey and all family. Love Bridgeport, love Brooklyn. Bridgeport. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> Good night, y'all. <laughs> Good night. Good night.